Some guys. October 1st update. New side story this week. Part 2 of it, actually. Well, side story, but part 2 of the side story. He's under the light of the full moon again. And this week's side story coherency. Tokens of life, like always. Um, just side story stuff here. Special artifact this week is going to be Ken's artifact that's coming out with his banner. And the only difference between this week's side story and last week's is that. This week's side story, we have the album. So, one of the items is going to be coming from the album. The helmet is coming from the album itself. You can fish this real quickly by doing hunts, crafting, stuff like that. And the other one is the immunity ring that's going to come from the exchange shop. As we talked about, I really do like the immunity ring compared to some of the other pieces here. It's one of the, it's one of the ones I like more, along with the chest piece and the necklace. Alright, and aside from that, Tenebria drop right up, coming with a new artifact, Crimson Moon of Nightmares. This artifact I think is actually pretty good. Increases dual attack chance by 7% when it is not the caster's turn. Increases effectiveness by 20% to 40% based on level. So this is a really good artifact for Tenebria itself in a control comp. Otherwise, it's very good for someone like a Dizzy also. So this, this artifact I think has really good potential. Um, unfortunately, it's on Tenebria Branner, so unless you're going for dupes, or if you don't have her yet, then you're gonna be running at risk of pulling a dupe Tenebria if you don't have a lot of resources and just looking for the artifact. So be careful of that. Uh, same thing with Ken, but so Ken also has a new artifact, some sour prayer breeds, and 20% chance each to grant increased effect resistance and defense for one turn, the end of the turn is 20 to 40 percent based on the level. Unfortunately, I don't think that's very good. Much better warrior artifacts, sacred side, Durandals, Draco plate, just limited, unfortunately. But like, let's say you want a fact resist for Dark Corvus. Even at that point, you rather use Strat Gauntlet. I'm personally, I feel like I just don't find this one that good. Fortunately. And last but not least, Yuna's After School Party, the old Epic Pass costume, is now added to the store. And uh, yeah, not a lot this week, but hey, peace out. See you guys next week.